Hello, this is Wanda from Wanda.tv, and today I want to talk about a new addition or a new revamp to Warframe, Digital Extreme's wonderful Lulu shooter that we all know and love on Xbox One, PS4, and on a PC. This is Hydroid, the Tentacle Master. And prior to this update, you know, Hydroid, in my experience, was used mainly for his uh, Pilfering Swarm mod, which gave you additional loot. So you saw Hydroid in a lot of parties where uh, you just didn't want one and more loot. But other than that, Hydroid didn't really have a place in a lot of, in a lot of uh, parties. So I was happy to see that Digital Extremes updated him and gave him some love. And, uh, uh, and I was ha happy, actually, when I came out of it, I was actually satisfied as well. So let's just get right down to it. His base shield and armor got a buff, so he's gonna be a little bit more tanky. His shield is now 375 from 345, and his armor is now 200 from 65, so that's a pretty big jump for his armor. Looking at his abilities, uh, Tempest Barrage, which is his first ability, which casts down rain, basically, can now be cast while in Undertale, which is his number three ability, which is you're in a puddle of water. That's like to say, I'm in a puddle of water. It will now hit enemies submerged in Undertale. So that means that as you submerge enemies into your puddle of water, they will now be affected by the, I like to call acid rain. It can now be charged for a longer duration and more explosions and more damage for more energy. So if you hold down the one button for Tempest Barrage, it'll do a lot more damage for a longer amount of time. Next ability is Tidal Surge, which is kind of exciting. Uh, it can now be used to, to move around without canceling Undertale. So now you can be a puddle of water and you can be a tidal wave puddle of water. <laughs> a tidal wave puddle of water. You can now pull enemies along for the ride as well if you just do it while you're outside of the, uh, of the tidal, while you're just running around while you're out of the Undertale. And it can be interrupted at any point by casting Undertale to go into your puddle, sinking enemies being pulled along. So it's a great way to CC and pull things in. And finally, well not finally, but one of my favorite changes is Undertale, which is the Puddle of Water. You can do Tempest Barrage, Tidal Surge, and you can also move while in Undertale by expending energy. So you don't have to be stationary anymore, but you move really, really slow. Undertale can also be cast while you're in midair. So that means you could be middle of a jump and you can do Undertale and actually become a Puddle of Water in the middle of the air. You can jump and roll to break out of it if you want to. And submerge enemies, as before, will be receive a DPS damage per second, increasing every second they are submerged and your energy will be drained. Uh, enemies that will die will be released instead of dragging their dead bodies along for the ride. Now, the tentacles have gotten a visual effect update. They now look a lot more, um, I don't know, a lot more modern. They, they're, they're, they're more, they're semi-opaque and they have more of a tentacle physics and feel to them um, and now they can uh, they can smack people basically they will seek out people and try to slam on top of them rather than just flap around their uh, all of their <laughs> ragdolls which used to be hilarious I mean sometimes you get some really funny ragdolls out of it because they glitch out um, and it will pinnacle swarm will protrude from hydroids undertow if active when cast so you can be a part of the water and you can then uh, use your tentacle swarm to do things. Now, the, another cool thing about tentacle swarm is that you'll see a face of the kraken peek its little head out of the out of the water as the tentacles do their work. So, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's these combination of abilities I think um, help help Hydroid become some something of a of a different class. He becomes a little bit more CC oriented. Becomes a little bit more mobile because he doesn't have to be stationary for a lot of his stuff. He can pull enemies into a certain location. So if you want to, you want to relocate enemies, um, and the, and just Undertale, man, you can you can suck enemies in with the tentacle. You just you just hit your left click, and you'll be sucking things in, drowning them. So it's a good way to reduce enemies from the battlefield. And while you got them in there, you can cast abilities like your uh, Tempest Barrage and other things to do more damage to them. And yeah, so the build I like to go with with uh, with Hydroid is, is pretty simple. Um, it, it, it favors quite a few things around efficiency. I even have a, a dedicated build around efficiency. You know, I got efficiency in this particular build that I settled on at 130%. Uh, I think that was a good compromise coupled with the Zenerik, uh focus. 
and uh, also I have my range at 160 as being the highest because I think the range with his uh, Tempest Barrage and Undertow, not Undertow, but uh, his uh, the Tentacle Swarm, both they, they they both benefit from a range. So I think I made that the highest because of that. Um, and the, the fact that you can control the range, you know, giving it a max range gives you more options. If you want things to be a smaller range, more controlled, uh, you just have to charge them less. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you use Tentacle Swarm uh, briefly, it will be a smaller circle. If you charge it up, it'll be a larger radius. Uh, same is true for um, for the Acid Rain, I like to call it. But I do have a, a, a straight up efficiency build. But for this one, I like to have Corroding Barrage. Coupled with Pilfering Swarm. Uh, I like to take Pilfering Swarm everywhere, get more loot all the time and more frame is my cup of tea. Getting more loot is always my cup of tea. But uh, Corroding Barrage, since you can you can affect enemies while in Undertow, you can pull enemies in and you know drop Acid Rain on them at the same time, giving you a kind of a double dose of damage, damage over time and the Pilfering Swarm. And you can also uh, you know do some other things with those enemies. You can take them out, you can, you know, Start shooting them with your weapon while the rain's falling. So you, it gives you a lot more options. And I think Corroding Barrage is a good addition to that. Um, I'm going to be playing with this a little bit more. But I think that's the build I decided to go with. With the new the new and improved Hydroid. Alright, this is WonderfulBoy.tv. And that's my thoughts on the brand new revamped Hydroid. You should check them out if you don't already have them. Uh, I like the Undertow changes. I like the uh, Pilfering Swarm changes. And I also like the, uh, the, I like the Acid Rain, man. I like, the, I like the synergy. I think that's what they're going for. Digital Extremes is going to continue to work on Hydroid. They're going to be continuing to make them better. They've already made a couple of hot fix tweaks based on user feedback like a day after it came out. So I can expect a couple more tweaks. And probably a week or two from now, it'll probably be finalized in its last moments. But I'm actually enjoying the guy. Um, I, like I said, I liked him, but he was very situation, excuse me, very, very situational. And, uh, now he's, I think he could be a little bit stronger with some work. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.